All right, so the first place I'm going to check out is called Now Playing. That's in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Let's go check it out. Loving the view. So unfortunately, they are closed right now, even though the uh, Google ads said that they were open. And uh, I can't really find any store around here that's open to kind of walk around and check out stuff. So unfortunately, I won't see this spot until a little bit later. When all the stores are closed, you know you can always count on Old Reliable to get some packs. The Magic Mystery Power Box. One Commander Deck, one Deck Box. 100 Gaming Sleeves. Uh, this is actually pretty much the only thing uh, that I thought was worth buying at that Walmart. Just, I mean, maybe there's not a lot of MTG players to check it out, but uh, there was a Kaldheim starter deck in there and so i mean that set's so old <laughs> i was i i just didn't see the value in getting that uh i'm not even sure how old this is but since i'm starting to try to get into commander i figure that's probably a better buy they didn't have any packs of the recent set uh they had some fat packs of the aftermath but i've already bought a couple of those and have those unboxing videos so if that's your kind of thing definitely check those out but I'm going to open this up and see what it's all about. Uh, it says it has a deck box in there and sleeves, so that'll be a plus pre-release this Friday for the Wilds of Eldraine. So I could use those sleeves in that box for that event, so that seems like a plus for me. Just opened up the mystery power box. I have a white Eclipse deck box. I have red sleeves, uh, two packs of 50, so 100 there, and uh, New Capenna, Streets of New Capenna, Naya Commander deck. Big fan of Naya. So as far as the mystery box goes, haven't opened it yet, but I'm a fan already. Nothing else in the box, though, so that's all that came with it, but hey, you know what? Sleeves are good for playing, and I'm a fan of New Capenna and Naya, so let's see what kind of cards we get? Alright, so opening it up, it's got some stuff. Oh, cool, it's got a little life counter here. That's so neat. That is really neat. Oh man, I want to keep that. What does it got? Rules, instructions, that aside. I've got collector booster sample pack. Interesting. I'll open that up in a sec. And then we have Kit Kanto Mayhem Diva. This is a four drop now and one other three three. And his battlefield created one one green and white citizen creature token. At the beginning of combat on each player's turn, you may tap two untapped creatures to control. When you do, the target creature that player control gets plus two, plus two, gains trample, and go the worst mechanic in MTG. <laughs> Basically, you force uh, a creature an opponent controls to attack you. I'm sure there's some ways you can gain benefit out of that, like if you had a really 
heavy life gain and they have like a 1-1 one, one token, you can just force it to attack you and get a bunch of life that way. There's there's definitely some benefits. I am going to crack this open and uh, see what cards are in it and then afterwards I will see what this collector pack is. So I started looking through this thinking like, alright, they're probably just going to have a bunch of like no-name random cards in here. And I mean, Kit Conso, cool, yeah, I mean, we just read that, that that's kind of neat. Uh, Fabine, Boss's Confidant, 6 drop, 3-6, creature, creature tokens you control have haste. And so quickly realizing that this deck is all about creature tokens. It's got a parlay ability on it. It says, at the beginning of combat on my turn, we're each going to reveal the top card of our library. For each land that's revealed, I create a 1-1. One, one. And for each non-land, my creatures get plus one, plus one. So that's that's pretty neat. Uh, I don't like then each player draws a card. That, that part I don't like. Not a big fan. Uh, it starts off with some uncommons, and I'm like, okay, is, tell me that's not like what they're basing the deck around. I mean, it's got some pretty staple uncommons here. And once I got to... Well, let's see a little bit farther here. So I got to... What was it? Um, there's a Cultivate. Uh, Alright, so Cabaretti Charm. Cabaretti Charm is pretty cool. Deals damage equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature or player. Or, I'm sorry, Planeswalker. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, gain trample until end of turn. And then cre uh, create two, one, one green and white citizen tokens. That's not bad. Intangible Virtue is pretty solid. Creature tokens get plus one, plus one of Vigilance for two. Enchantment. Cultivate, always a solid card. Three drop. Search for two basic lands, one on the battlefield, one in your hand. Battlefield tapped, of course. And then I saw Boros Charm, and I was like, what? This card is nuts. I used this when it wrote, when it was in standard rotation on Ravnica block. Uh, Return to Ravnica, that is. And it did so well. Like, just ridiculously well. Four damage to target player or planeswalker. Permanence, that includes your lands, get indestructible until end of turn. Or target creature gets double strike. This is easy four of in a deck. Like, I am waiting for them to reprint that. <laughs> Uh, Commander Sphere. I don't play a lot of Commander, but that seems pretty good. Add one mana of any color in your Commander's color identity. Sacrifice, draw a card. Pretty, pretty standard. And then I got to the rares. And there were so many rares. It just keeps going with the rares. So I'm going to go ahead and lay them down. And then that way I can show you a little better view. I don't have a lot of camera equipment here. So I'm going to break down those rares and then just talk about those. Alright, so this is actually pretty nuts. Uh, I think this is an amazing commander deck. MTG, way to step it up. I do not remember decks being this good just out the box. So very token heavy, uh, token production kind of thing. The uncommons, I showed you those. As soon as I got to the rares, I was like, let me lay them down. There's 40 of them. <laughs> and they're not that bad. You know what I mean? Some of these I've seen in standard. Some of these are throwbacks. It's, it's honestly, it's not that bad. And as far as the mythic rares, we talked about two of them. We've got Kit Kanto, Fabine. Gahiji, Honored One, this is a 5-drop 4-4. Four, four. Whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents or Planeswalker and opponent controls, that creature gets plus 2, plus 0, so really good for tokens. And then an instant speed, March of the Multitudes. So it's Selesnya and other planes and X. Convoke, so all those tokens I have, I can tap for more. Create X, 1-1, one, one, White Soldier creature tokens with lifelink. That's just nuts. I mean, what? And not include, like, the lands, those are also pretty good too, but it does have an alternate artwork for the commander. 
which I think is pretty cool. Plus, it's really thick. Like this is a this is a thick card. So uh, I like that. As far as the rares in the set here, let's just kind of go across here. Bosses chauffeur. This one's kind of nice. This is a five drop. Enters battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to one plus the number of creatures you have. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you can put a plus one plus one counter on it. And when it dies, create that many more one ones equal to the plus one plus one counters. It is a five drop though, uh, so that's a little spicy. Grand Crescendo. This is two white and X. Create X one one green and white cre uh, green and white citizen creature tokens. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn, not just tokens. So for two, instant speed, give everything indestructible. Uh, if you don't want to make any tokens, that's that's really freaking good. Master of Ceremonies. Four drop at the beginning of your upkeep. Each opponent chooses money, friends, or secrets for each who choose money. You and that player each create a treasure token. For each player who chooses friends, you and that player create a 1-1 one, one, uh, white green and white citizen creature token. For each player who chooses secrets, you and that player each draw a card. So that's a friendly com commander card. Like People will really love that. Like I don't see that getting countered. Indulge in excess 3-drop. Whenever a creature you control attacks this turn, create a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen. So you, you get the idea. Uh, this is top 10 attacking. And then uh, excess, aftermath. Create a treasure token for each creature you control that dealt combat damage to a player this turn. Awesome. Very face breakery. Life of the party. First strike, trample, haste, four drop, zero, one. Whenever it attacks, plus X plus zero, where X is the number of creatures you control. You, you started to get the idea here? Like, this is crazy. When life of the party enters the battlefield, if it's not a token, each opponent creates a token that's a copy of it. Tokens are goaded. That I don't like. Goaded is weird. Rose Room, Treasure, 4-Drop, Alliance, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a treasure token if this is the first or second time, otherwise you may pay X when you do, deals X damage to any target, so that's okay. Seize the Spotlight, for each opponent choose Fame or Fortune, for each who choose Fame, gain control of target creature that player controls till end of turn, untap, gain haste, for each player choose Fortune, draw a card and create a treasure token. Crash the party, six drop, create a tapped 4-4 green rhino, warrior creature token for each tapped creature you control. The, the amount of token production here is nuts. Uh, killer service, this is a three drop, enters the battlefield, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. That's not that great. Scepter of celebration, three drop, quick creature gets plus two plus zero as trample. Deals combat damage to a player, make a 1-1, one, one. that's not bad, equip 3. But it's a, it's a pretty solid list. I don't want to read it all. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, when Prosperous Partnership enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature tokens. Tap 3 on tap creatures you control, create a treasure token, like... Solid enchantment. False floor. This seems nuts to me. Four drop artifact. Enters tap. Creatures enter the battlefield tap. So slow, slow everybody down. That's really good. Help you build up your board state. Build those creature tokens out. Two tap. Exile it. Exile all untapped creatures. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh. What else we got? Call the copper coats. Three drop strive. Spell cost. Uh. One white, one colorless, more to cast for each target beyond the first. Choose any number of target opponents. Create X, one, one white human soldier. Uh, creature tokens where X is the number of creatures those opponents control. That's so nuts. So if somebody's beating you with token production, you could just kind of like gain more off of that. Duelist Heritage. Whenever one or more creatures attack, you may have target attacking creature gain double strike until end of turn. I mean, I'll do that every turn. Felidar Retreat, awesome card. This is a throwback, Zendikar style. Four drop, landfall, land enters battlefield, create a 2-2 two -two or put a plus one plus one on each creature. Fell the Mighty, five, destroy all creatures with power greater than creatures power. Very specific, you know what I mean? And then another one, 
Create X one one white soldier creature tokens if X is five or more. Destroy everything else. So it's got like good board wipe. It's got good cre like token production. There's just so many here. I can't remember if this one's good or not. I'll have to look this one up. Beastmaster Ascension 3 drop whenever a creature you control attacks. Put up a quest counter on it as long as it has 7 or more creatures get plus 5 plus 5. Like that, you could do that real quickly. Creatures with power less than this can't block creatures you control. So just buff this up, you know what I mean? Like, what? Skewed Swarm. Big token card that used to be in standard very heavily, like very heavy played. Assemble the Legion was a popular one. That one definitely got some play. The beginning of your upkeep, put a muster count muster counter on Assemble the Legion, then create a one one red and white soldier creature token with haste uh, for each counter on it. More counters. More more tokens. Camaraderie. Six drop. Gain X. Life draw X cards where X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures get plus one, plus one. It's on the turn. This one's uh, three drop, two, four parlay. Each player reveals top card of the library for each non land card. Reveal this way. Add forest. And then that uh, gain one life. Then each player draws a card. I just don't like the the each player draws a card part, but you know, in Commander, that's the kind of thing that might keep you, you know, in that matchup. And as far as the lands, I'm gonna go over those now. Pretty good spread of lands here. A lot of rare lands. Big fan. 38 lands in total. And it's got, I mean, even great artwork, only on three of those. With the full art. But man. Nuka Penna set was awesome. Alright, so. Canopy Vista enters the battlefield. Tablets control two or more basic lands. Cool. We got Castle, Ardenville, Castle Embereth. We've got Cinderglade. We've got Exotic Orchard, Fortified Village, Game Trail, Mossfire Valley, Rugged Prairie. Sun Grass Prairie Temple of Triumph. So a little scry action there. Big fan of scry action. Wind Brisk Heights. I am so happy they threw that in there. This is a hideaway card. Big fan of hideaway. That's actually one of the lands I used in the in the first real deck that I ever made. That I'll show you guys one day. Jungle Shrine. Myriad Landscape here. Not so fancy there. And then, you know, some more common lands, but <laughs> wow, <laughs> this, it, I mean, I'm not sure if all the mystery boxes are like that, but this one, this one's legit. And now we will open the Collector Booster Sample Pack, Streets of New Capenna. All right, and we got... We've got Agnes, the Dragon's Lash. Haste whenever a creature you, you control with haste attacks. Create a tapped treasure token. That's kind of neat. Oh, I actually, this is just alt artwork. I do know, I do remember this card. It's actually not that bad. Sweet. And then the other one is. Tramway Station. Enters the battlefield tapped. Add Swamp or Mountain. Four. Tap. Sack a draw card. Not too fancy, in all honesty, with the the mystery pack. I mean, this card seems playable. And that artwork seems pretty neat. Deck box feels meh. It's like thick cardboard, I want to say. It's got a little divider in there, which is kind of neat. But I mean, nothing too fancy. Still, deck box though, you know what I'm saying? And that's going to do it for this video. As always, 
Until next time, duckheads, keep it easy.